Alternate text descriptions are um, textual descriptions of media. Um, and so if you have a picture of a bunny, I can see that it's a picture of a bunny, uh, but someone who's not able to see if they have low vision or if they're blind, um, they might be using technologies that tell them what's on the electronic content. And the electronic tag is kind of like the code behind the picture that the screen reader reads out loud and says, bunny, or uh, this is a cartoon and it shows this, this, and this happening kind of thing. And so it's a way of providing information that you m might not be able to access in, a, in a one way or another way. Uh, so alt texts, captions, transcripts, these are what are called alternate methods of accessing information. So a captioning file is um, obviously the file that you know synchronizes with moving video. Um, and then there's like audio descriptions. Uh, audio descriptions enable um, visually impaired individuals to access uh, information about what's going on on the screen, like live screen, um, a live video. Um, and then, you know, there's, there's open captions, which means that the captions are burned into a video. And then there's closed captions, which a lot of people prefer because you can turn them on or off so that people who want to see them will see them and people who don't, don't. And so really, um, you know, these kinds of methods are just strategies to access information. In order to accomplish alt text descriptions, um, Usually, uh, in many different types of authoring tools and platforms, in LMS, in Microsoft Office, in Adobe Acrobat, you know, for PDFs, um, even for EPUB files, in all sorts of authoring tools, there is a way uh, to provide an alt text description. And it's pretty much, for most, for most of the cases, it's either built in automatically when you upload the photo, or uh, it's a right click away. Um, every, for, for every single platform, you could just look up how to put alt tag or alt text description um, for image in this platform or this platform or this tool. And uh, so it's very, it's very easy to do. Um, some of the things you have to think about when uh, you know, describing a photo is what is the image intend to convey. Is it a purely decorative photo or is it, um, you know, a, a, a painting or something like that? Um, and again, it, it really just depends on what you want the audience to know and what the purpose of the image is. And so if it's purely decorative, you can say decorative, you know, or leave it blank. Um, and, and if it's something that requires uh, a lot more description, you provide more description. And it doesn't have to be so detailed. Um, and so if it's a cartoon, for example, um, you could describe the cartoon, you can describe the caption, you don't have to describe the meaning. You know, it's like if you're, if you're looking at a cartoon, you're supposed to figure out what it means. Um, and that, that's basically what you're providing someone who's trying to um, access a picture through a description is um, providing the same exact experience. And so for someone who sees it, they can see um, the image itself. And for someone who needs to hear the image described, they should be getting the same information. If you're never really sure how much you should describe or you know, how little to say, always feel free to consult you know, a disability or accessibility support services office. Uh, because they have tons of resources and information to help you um, describe more complicated content or simple content. And there's um, a lot of resources online for describing artistic information or STEM information. And so um, there are, are plenty of recommendations provided by um, blind associations um, to enable faculty and other um, creators to um, improve conveying that kind of information.